Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk with you about Canva fonts. Uh, I use Canva a lot as an educator. I use it for making cute graphics for our, our social media sites in our school, um, for making posters, for making all kinds of things to help with productivity. Um, and so today I'm gonna talk to you about how I um, work really hard um, to get my um, graphics just the way I want by saving myself some time. So if you like this information I have to share, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is really geared towards uh, principals and teachers and our productivity in our hard line of work. Um, so what's really great about Canva, and I'm in the free version right now, and the free version's awesome, I encourage all educators to go ahead and get a quick free membership, uh, is that Canva comes packed with lots of options, uh, including templates, tons of stock photos, and what we're going to talk about today is the thousand thousands of fonts that Canva has to offer. Um, and so what I've done is um, over the course of the years that I've been using Canva, I've just identified some fonts that I really like. And what you're going to see here in just a second is that Canva has so many that it gets a little bit overwhelming. So let's go ahead and create a design. I'm just going to create an eight, eight and a half by 11 um, poster. So 8.5 by 11 inch. Uh, let's see, I'll just click on custom dimensions. That's the best way. And then change this to inches. Um, so uh, 8.5 by 11. Um, let's say I want to make a PDF or a poster. But today what I'm going to do is show you a shortcut way to keep track of all the fonts that you love. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it Font Love. And uh, what I've found has been a real time saver for me is to put together some samples of fonts that I um, am a really big fan of, the ones that I find myself using over and over again, or that I think, huh, that might be kind of cool around Halloween, or that might look good on a graphic for this upcoming uh, you know, dance that we're having, or that sort of thing. So over here in Canva uh, is really your, your toolbar. This is what you're going to use to access everything. There are templates for days. Uh, stock photos as far as the eye can see. Uh, and what I like to do is, um, you know, just search for, let's say I'm looking for um, a picture of a bird. You can just type in bird. And then what pops up, if it doesn't have a little symbol next to it, and when you hover over it, it says free, it's totally free. So there's just, as you can see, so many stock photos, um, gorgeous that you can use for whatever you'd like. And that's just one example. There are thousands. Uh, under elements is where you're gonna find um, the traditional clip art and also grids, which I've talked about in the past, shapes um, and some GIFs, some movable little animation things. What we're gonna talk about today though is text uh, because the fonts in Canva are amazing. So over the years, like I said, what I've done is I've compiled some of the fonts that I love the most. And I keep on my desk uh, in, in my office uh, a go-to sheet of the fonts that I've acquired over the years that I really, really love. Um, and so what I do is I just click on text and then click on add a heading. And all this is, is it just gives you the option of small, medium, and large um, to start with. You have total flexibility when you get into Canva to change the font size up here, um, or because it's vector-based, you can also just um, make it smaller or larger. So if you click on one of these, you're not married to them. You've got a lot of flexibility. Um, and so what I do is I take the fonts that I love and I put a sample of them here. So some of my favorites, um, it, one is called Give You Glory. Um, and the reason I know that is because I use it a lot. Um, but what I recommend you do is type the name of the font that you love and then uh, highlight it. And what you do is you're going to drop down in the drop down menu. Um, and you can either pick it from here, but it really opens up this big dog over here on the left. And um, what you do is actually uh, turn that phrase into the font that you love. So what I know is that as I'm um, working on a Facebook post or an Instagram post for my school, I can see that if I'm looking for a font of this style, I'm going to choose Give You Glory. And so that's this one here. And then what I do is I just duplicate. I go ahead and I duplicate this and put it next door here, maybe make it a little bit different size so I can put several on one line. And then what I'm going to do now is go over and scroll through and try to find some fonts that I really like. So I clicked on the, the font drop down menu. And as I start scrolling through here, look on the left, you can see that we're just in the ABs at this point. Um, there are so many fonts available in Canva and in the free version, if there's no symbol here, then that means that it's accessible to you. Uh, I like this abyss. Don't know what I'd use it for, but it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna put that over here. 
Um, I'm going to click on this to turn my highlighted words into that. And then what I'm going to do is rename this to uh, this so that I know that if I come to want a font like that, that's the one to use. So I'm going to lower it down here and make it a little bit easier to see, a little more scalable. And I'm going to move on to my next one. So duplicate that. I want to get into another letter, for example, for y'all. So I'm going to drop down here and I'm just going to scroll and scroll and scroll for a little while. Um, and let's say I get down past the A's. Eventually, like I said, there are so many fonts in Canva, which is one of the real benefits of this program. Uh, and let's say I'm just going to get to... Um, Something a little bit more basic. How about Baron? Notice that there's no symbol next to it, so it's free. Click on Baron, and it's going to change this word to that font. Now it still says Abyss, but I want it to read Baron so I can easily find that font in the future. And so I'm going to name it Baron. And the interesting thing to me is that it looks a little bit different, and I wonder if it's because it's. Uh, Yep, so I had hit the, the caps on it, made it a, an uppercase letter, and this is the lowercase version, and same here, I suspect. So there's the lowercase version. So there's the word Baron, which um, over time then I can go back and see that I really like that font, and now I know the name of it. So it makes it a lot easier to find. Uh, and let me find another example here. So I'm going to um, duplicate that once again, drag it over here. And uh, let's say I want to find a font that starts with the letter TR. Um, let's see what we've got down here. So I just typed in TR uh, and uh, I like a, true, a typewriter. Typewriters are always nice to use uh, in various elements. So I'm going to rename that then to true typewriter because that's its name and resize this. And so this is just a really simple way to, to uh, organize those fonts that you love um, for a time later when you start cranking out your um, social media posts. I'm not sure if you're somebody who uses my social media calendar and that's how you found this, uh, this uh, video today. Uh, but in my social media calendars, I give tips on how to use Canva to uh, uh, vary up your posts so they don't all just look the same day after day. So I'm gonna click over to uh, my font sample page that I keep on my desk. And here you can see that uh, I just have a grip of them all stacked together. Uh, over the years, I've compiled more. So this is just a really fun one that I like. This is a little bit more uh, straightforward in terms of uh, not cursive, not flowy, not too um, tough to read. But then I do also have some, some more um, scripty handwriting ones that I really gravitate towards as well. So uh, there you have it. This is just one of the shortcuts that I use to crank out social media faster uh, in Canva uh, while also varying up my fonts and not having to wonder what font did I use and click back into my old designs. If you found this tutorial helpful today, then uh, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, definitely get into uh, Canva and fall in love as I have. Uh, personally, I use Canva Pro. I pay uh, a little fee every year and, uh, and use the Pro version because it just has <laughs> way more options than, than the massive options that free Canva does. And it's just been uh, really useful for my school's social media. Thanks so much. Take care.